The other thing I can then do is to determine whether or not um, adding a little bit of load changes this. So we're just going to get you just to gently push your arm out. Yep, good, and relax. And just gently push forwards into flexion. Yeah, that way, yep, that's it, yep, and relax. And gently out into abduction. That's it, yep. And you can see there, when we add that little bit of load to her, to her scapula, it does alter position. So if she was reporting that upper limb type movements, mousing, that sort of thing, um, was aggravating her neck pain and her dizziness, then this might be something that we need to think about. If her pain's on the left-hand side, you know, maybe not so much. So we can check it on the left-hand side as well. So just gently pushing forwards for me. Yep, and relax. Gently push out to the side and gently push into rotation. Okay, and not so bad on that side. So we don't see much change. So we're starting to get a picture of whether the scapula could be involved or not. And we'll look at some other things later on in sitting to sort of confirm that. But at the moment, I would be thinking if she had right-sided pain, you know, she's got that little bit of anterior tilt. Uh, it does increase with load. So, you know, could it be potentially uh, a factor in her neck pain or her condition? <music>